Welcome to Mount St. Helens. On May 18, 1980, this volcano changed. It was no ordinary day in the life. The volcano erupted at 8.32 a.m., triggered by a 5.1 magnitude earthquake that caused the biggest ever recorded landslide. As this was released, a lateral blast surged down the mountain and towards the Tootle River. This produced hummocks that you see below. Then came a pyroclastic flow, which travelled at over 300 kilometres an hour and went 17 miles downstream. In these two events, just splits of a second apart from each other, 12% of the volcano was removed. 90% of it came from this. This major amount of sediment and debris changed the shape of the river and sent it from a meandering channel to a much wider braided channel. This blast tore down trees, leaving just the roots and small stumps of a hundred foot Douglas firs. The amount of material changed the shape of the valley from a perfect V to the mu now much wider, 50 feet more shallow, box shape you see before you. This river is now much, much wider, up to a mi half a mile, but less intense. In the 29 years, 3 months, 25 days and 3 hours since the eruption, this volcano has since been reworked by mudslides and the natural course of the river, so that you now get what you see before your eyes. May the 18th, 1980, certainly was no ordinary day in the life.